Hey, hey, everybody. Man, I need a haircut. This is what happens when my hair grows out. It gets wonky and curly and gnarly looking. <laughs> I'm, it's time for a haircut. I haven't been to the hair salon in nine months or more. I don't know. Woof. Well, so anyway, I just wanted to say hello and hope you're having a good weekend coming up. When you see this video, it'll be Friday, and I worked on a tutorial today. I had some back issues the last few days. I've kind of laid low, but I've been, I did a resin clock that I was really super proud of, and I, it was a commission, and I wish I could show it to you right now, but it's in a box by the door getting ready to go to the post office tomorrow, and I have a few others that are uh, dreaming up their colors for me to do, so that I've had a lot of fun with resin lately, and I know that some of you want me to get back to my acrylic pours, but like I said, I'm not a one-trick pony. I've been an artist for 20 years, and resin is kind of new for me, and I'm really, really f having a good time with it. Even though it's a hassle, it's messy, you have to keep things covered because of fur and hair, and um, you have to wear a respirator and good grief it's it's a pain in the butt to work with <laughs> but the results are fantastic so yeah I'm shipping out my beautiful gold uh, resin tray that was so beautiful with the gold leaf in the middle and the crystal handles and my um, freeform little tray and coasters that looked kind of like sunshine and tangerine -y citrusy I'm shipping those out and I got a I got a hundred dollars worth of post office stuff here waiting to go to the post office tomorrow so I, I wanted to tell you I've got another tutorial because I put one out every two weeks yes I do and I would love for you to take a class it's $35 and it's in the link below the video it's not free but I spend a lot of time making these tutorials to teach people that want to learn how to paint with acrylics traditionally and brushes. And occasionally I'll throw in an acrylic pour that's maybe a special one and I'm probably going to do some uh, more intermediate and uh, you know not beginner level painting lessons as well and maybe one day I'll do resin lessons but Right now, I'm just going to video them on YouTube and put them out for you to watch. So, and I feel like giving away a few things. I don't know. I just want to give away some things. And I am, am going to give away a bigger painting at 75,000 subscribers. So I'm getting close. I've got a couple of thousand more to go. And when I get to 75,000, I am going to give away a painting, like a bigger one. So... And let me remind you about the tutorials. It's 35 for one class, okay? If you sign up for a monthly subscription, you save $10, you have access to all of my classes, which right now there's about, I don't know, 30 or so. You have access to all of them with the subscription. And as long as you're a subscriber, you can have lifetime access to everything in my classes that I offer. And then uh, if you sign up for six months, you save 25%. And if you sign up for a year, you save over 30%. And you get a free $150 painting of your choice as a bonus for being an annual subscription. So I just wanted to remind you of that. And I do, if you sign up for a class, I do ship you like a free print of some sort. You know, it can be of your choosing. Wanted to make sure you knew that. And, um, but as long as you're a member of a subscription, you have access to all of my lessons. If you just buy one class, it's just that one class. But if you have a subscription, you have lifetime access to everything as long as you are a subscriber. And if you decide you don't want to do it after a few months, you can stop your subscription and you'll have access to any of the classes that you had started while you were a member. So I want to share that with you. Let me grab my stuff. Okay, so I thought maybe 
I've got three things, and I thought maybe the first three people that sign up for my latest tutorial, which is called Draped Flowers, and I'll show it to you in just a second, maybe the first three people, I'll give them a choice. Whoever signs up first gets first choice, second gets second choice, third gets third. So I've got three things. Two are resin, and um, so let me show you what the little gifts would be. This one is an 8 inch soft purple, it's got glass beads in the center, shimmery glitter that has a I don't know, a little bit of a blue-green kind of feel to it. And then the back looks like that. And you can kind of see through it a little bit in the middle. <laughs> so anyway, that's in my Etsy shop. And I think it's $25 or $30. So I would give this away for free if you purchased a class for $35. Just saying. Okay. Then another little resin piece that I did, this one is called Beachy Baby, and it would be like a little, it's got a flat bottom, and it's, it's kind of matte on the back, but it's glitter, and it almost looks like glittery sand, and then it kind of has an oceany water with a bunch of glitter confetti in the center, and 3D shells and it's I think six inches and it could be just something that sits on your desk it'd be like a paperweight you could put um, a little candle on it. it could be a little candle holder you could put jewelry on it or a few little cosmetics or some nail polish things so this would be something that might be a little gift for someone And then the third one, which this is a really pretty piece, and I really thought it turned out gorgeous. I've been playing with the Shaley Blooms a lot. I did this one a while back, and it's a six inch canvas. And it's probably about an inch thick. And it's got a nice glossy finish on it, and it's one of my blooms, but I thought it was just a beautiful design. And it has some shimmer to it. I don't know if you can see the shimmer in this light because it's nighttime and I'm doing this in my foyer. <laughs> so that is um, a painting. So those three items would be to the first three people that sign up for the class. So I decided I wanted to do a class that was so not intimidating if you're not an artist and you don't traditionally paint with acrylics. You know, I've painted for 20 years. So, you know, I did the horses, I did the marsh. You know, so I love to paint with acrylics, besides acrylic pouring. And um, so most of my classes are acrylics with brushes and I wanted to do something a little different that would not be intimidating um, that you feel like you could do and be really proud of when you're done. And I think it turned out really pretty. And I'm, you know, I'm a color girl and I'm a flower girl. I love nature. So I love it and I hope you do, but it's called Draped Flowers. And here is the lesson. And I hope the colors show up with this deeper lighting. You know, it's not daytime lighting, but... And so guess what? This was painted with Q-tips. Q-tips! So, you don't have to paint with brushes. Now, I did, I brushed on a background, and I'll show you how to do that. And I did use a tiny little brush just to put in some little dotty looking stuff at the very end. 
but everything else was done with Q-tips and acrylics. So I thought it would be a fun tutorial that's not intimidating. It'd be fun to have a group of friends over, a group of girls have a glass of wine, have some coffee and some dessert and paint. And you watch my video and you can pause it and start it and pause it and start it. You can watch it 25 million times if you want to. You can just play it over and over again. So anyway, here is draped flowers. So they're like cascading down. And then when I was looking at it, I thought, wow, that's really pretty that way too. And I didn't plan it that way. But it could even be like a garden of flowers too. Just saying. And this will be for sale. So it'll be probably on my Facebook page. And if I don't sell it right away, it'll go in my Etsy shop. And I do have an Etsy shop. I don't put all my stuff that's for sale because I have hundreds of things that are for sale. But I do put some of the smaller paintings and some resin stuff and all in my Etsy store. That link is below the video too, okay? So here is Draped Flowers. Check out the tutorial, okay? And so I also wanted to just remind you uh, for if you're a subscriber of mine or if you subscribe to anybody's channel because I subscribe to many people that do acrylic pours I love there's so many of them that I love Gina DeLuca Julie Cutts pouring her heart out um, Karen Durashan's waterfall acrylics Jill Jackson's sister earthification Heather Mater Fiona art the list goes on and on. There's so many wonderful, talented acrylic pouring people out there. I watch people that paint abstracts. I uh, look at music. I subscribe to music channels. And did you know that as a YouTube creator, like me and all of them, that we get a little, you know, monetary gain from this. You know, we do make a little money at this. It's not a whole lot for the time and hours that we put in, but, but the, the way that we get the money is by you watching an ad. Did you know that? I think a lot of people don't know that. I think they think that if they like a video or maybe comment that that is what helps us get some revenue, but it's actually not. A like or a comment is not what gets revenue. It's watching the ad. So if you see a Target ad or Michael's or whatever, Google picks those. We don't pick them. And they kind of randomly show up because Google decides when they're going to throw an ad out at, at you. So if you want to support the people that you subscribe to, take the time to watch the 15 second or the minute long ad, or sometimes it's a few minutes. I just kind of let it run and I look at something else until the ad is over, but it gives the person that I'm subscribing to an opportunity to make that tiny little bit of revenue. And it's just a little tiny percentage of whatever, you know, they make running ads. So I just wanted to mention that um, because I'm a full-time artist, I've been doing it for 20 years and I dedicate most of my time to YouTube and creating videos and I do some commissions from YouTube and from Facebook I do you know some commissions but for the most part you know YouTube is where I try to make my money and um, instead of working a corporate office job because my passion is art so I just wanted to let you know that if it matters to you and you do want to support the people that you subscribe to, take the time to sit and watch the ads. You don't have to watch them. You can look away. You can, uh, I don't know, surf the internet on another uh, page or whatever and let the ad run and then come back. Who knows? But that's how people on YouTube get paid, pretty much. So just wanted to share that. 
So I would love for you to check out my draped flowers tutorial. And I do have those three little gifts that the first three people that sign up for the class will get to choose from. First come, first serve. So thank you so much. I hope you all have a great weekend. I love you all, and I'll see you on the next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.